Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in our technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we're looking at how you would add a door controller, more video controller, to the Paxton 10 system. If you've already set your server up, you can follow the, the procedure. If you haven't already followed the um, setup procedure, all you do is simply look on the bottom of the server. It gives you a link um, to, to go to with a unique address in it. You simply go to that address, populate the information, username, email address and password and details like that. And once you've done all that information, it then directs you to another page. And on that page at the bottom, once you've installed the security certificates, there's a link. You click on that link and it'll take you to your Pax and 10 server page. We're assuming you've already done all that and you're ready to install the system. Let's have a look at the wiring. Wiring's the same as any IP system really. Uh, we're Pax and 10. All the devices need to be on the same local network. It can be the same switch or the same um, switches connected to each other, but they all need to be on the same subnet, on the same switch network. Um, all the devices are connected in normal um, Cat5, Cat6 cable and you need to ensure that DHCP is available from your router or from the network. As you can see here, um, green wires are Ethernet cables, Cat5, Cat6. Um, the red wire for the reader is a Belden cable, uh, it's a 4 core. I'm using 8723, which is a 2 pair cable, a 4 pair, a uh, 4 core. You could also use a 9504, but it's best to use um, something that's insulated and twisted pairs. The, um, as I mentioned there, the, the router, I've, I've got a router connected to my switch. My router is IPv6 compatible and it also has DHCP. So my um, Paxson 10 controller has acquired a, an IP address already. Now we've got it wired up, let's log into the software. On the software, once you've um, already registered, as I mentioned in previous slides, type in your username and password. Doing that will take you to the um, to the Paxson 10 splash page, and here at the bottom there you can have a look and see any devices. If you haven't got devices, what you can do is click at the top on Add Device, and if you do that, it's going to ask you what do you want to add. So I'm going to add a device. So at the bottom right there, Device. Click on that. Select your access point, a door in my case. Let's give it a name, so it'll be uh, door, and then the type would be uh, door again. Save that. And there we go, we've got the door added to the system now. There it is. So what we need to do now is associate a door controller to that door, to that entrance. So at the bottom there, again, if we just were to click on devices, the inbuilt net, network scanner in Paxson 10 will show us the list of devices. At the top, you can add the serial number of the controller, but the scanner's found this door controller here. And all I do is just simply grab it and drag it across to the door. And that's the controller now associated with that door opening. Install to rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.